Hi there, this is AJ with Car Inspected, and today we are in the beaches area of Toronto, and we're looking at this 2005 Mercury Grand Marquis with 170,000 kilometers on it. Overall, decent condition for its age and mileage. I don't see any major accident evidence, any issues. Uh, it does have some typical wear and tear for the age. Uh, chips and bumps and scrapes in the corners, things of that nature. Some rock chips in the hood. Uh, pinstripes are starting to come off the tape stripes here and there. As we go down this side, we see no major, major issues until we get to down here, this quarter panel. Uh, it looks like it's missing a piece of plastic trim. It has been repainted. So this quarter panel has been repainted and there is some rust starting to come through through here, down in here, and once we go into the bottom there. Nothing major, but it is there. Go around the back, uh, again, scrapes, bumps, light stuff here and there on this on this deck lid. Looks like it's been kind of rubbed off with an ice scraper or something. But tail lights all look good. Got a little bit of uh, bumps in the bumper here. And this side looks pretty good though. Down the passenger side, we look pretty good. Uh, I don't believe we have an issue with this. Uh, trim being missing, I think it was okay. There's a little bit of rust starting in here. Nothing too bad though, you can see down there. And around here, everything looks pretty decent. Uh, there was a little bit of a uh, little bit of work, repaint work in this quarter panel as well. I'm assuming maybe a little rust repair. I don't know, but there is a little bit in this one as well. And down the side here, have a couple of little bumps and scrapes. Nothing crazy, nothing big. A little bit of rust starting behind the trim on this door here that you can see. You see doors close well, no issues. And around the front, here we are. Again, everything looks pretty decent for its age. Minor bump here with no major problems. Uh, windows all look good. Oh, there is some rust in the roof starting here and there. Got some chips, some rust bubbles throughout up there as well. So a couple of pieces here and there. No holes or anything like that, but there is, is some rust going on there. We're gonna go around and look at the brakes, tires, and undercarriage. Now these front, left front tire, sorry, uh, long day. <laughs> uh, this is a 2008, so it is getting up there in age, and they are a bit dry rotten, probably been sitting for a while. A lot of tread left, about 8.30 seconds, but as you can see, there are plenty of dry rot cracks and such going on in there. Uh, brakes inside these wheels, hard to see on the video, but rotors are rotors and brakes are probably 60-70% left. However, there is a lot of pitting on these rotors from sitting. I do feel like the car's been sitting for a while, so that is something to be taken care of. There's also a little bit of rust inside here, starting in the wheel wells. Uh, and once we look underneath, you'll see better photos, but there is some rust going on, starting in the rockers on both sides. The driver's side is better. Uh, the passenger side has some more. You can see some of that stuff. Underneath, though, everything looks pretty good. The exhaust is okay. I don't see any holes or anything of that nature. Surface rust here and there, but nothing too major. Come around to the passenger side, the right side. And we have another 2008 tire, again, with a good amount of... Uh, dry rot weather cracking decent amount of tread but they are getting there of age 2008 as well rims are decent again a lot of pitting on these rotors so the brakes should probably be replaced for safety we look under this side we don't see any major leaks or anything like that everything looks pretty good nice and clean there is one leak showing up which uh, see if I can get on the video here we go so that's that green liquid is coming from the air conditioning uh, condenser tank so we do have a bit of a, a bit of a leak going on there the air conditioning does currently work but with a leak like that it probably won't for long so that will need to be serviced and taken care of as we go along under here like I said there is a little bit of rust in this rocker a couple of a couple of flaky spots etc and in the passenger side floor doesn't look like a hole yet or anything but there is some decent progression going on there Frame looks good though throughout, everything looks decent. Mm -hmm. 
So we look under here, we see no major issues in the rear. Again, some surface rust, things like that, and the rockers are starting to go. So you can see, you'll see better photos. And we come around back, the rear differential looks good, not wet, no leaks or anything of that nature. Everything looks pretty decent. Rear tires, same story. 2008, about 8, 30 seconds to tread, but a good amount of dry rot. And the rear brakes, uh, again, same story. There's probably 75% 70, left, but there's a good amount of pitting on them. So we're gonna see when we test drive it, if they're okay, but I bet they're gonna make some noise and need to be replaced. And finally, on this side, same story, 2008 tire, pitted rotors, decent, si decent brakes and no major issues that I see under here or anything like that. We're gonna look through the interior. We'll uh, go to the trunk first, because I always forget that. Now they don't make cars with trunks like this anymore. A lot of space in there. You can probably rent this out as an Airbnb if you'd like. Plenty of room in here and uh, looks all pretty good. I see no rust, I see no holes, no wetness. Spare tire is here just like it should be. Uh, I don't see the tools, however. Tires there, oh, there they are. Tools are back there. No rust or anything in this deck lid either. All looks pretty good. Interior looks pretty good in this vehicle. Minimal wear and tear which is pretty impressive. All very nice and comfortable. Door panels look nice. Wood grain looks good. Rear seat, minimal wear. All looks pretty nice. This all looks good. Carpets also look very nice with no issues. All nice and clean. Pretty good. Now this door panel looks good. However, this passenger front window will not go up and down. Uh, this switch or the driver's side switch will not operate this window. So that needs to be taken care of. Other than that though, there's no real issues. Power seats work as they should and are nice and comfortable. Again, very minimal wear and tear. All look pretty good for their age. Same thing with the carpet. A Couple of stains here and there, but no big deal. Owner's manual is here, everything works. Little, uh, this is the, the passenger airbag indicator. It looks like it's been kind of pushed through. It's in there, but it looks like it's kind of busted. Everything looks good here. Go around to the driver's side. At least one side's not crammed in this little parking lot. This door panel looks pretty good as well. No issues. Um, window works with no problems. Again, seat looks good. All pretty nice. Carpets are decent, no wetness or any issues like that. Uh, there is also spots that you can note of clear coat starting to peel here and there. A typical of these cars. Not a major issue, but it is there. This door panel looks pretty good. Like I said everything seems to work. Uh, seats, power seats, everything except that window, this window that is, the passenger window. We get on in here, everything also looks pretty good. Uh, tested all this stuff, the pedals do move, seats move, everything looks pretty good. No major issues, no major wear and tear on the steering wheel, all that looks pretty good. We look under the hood. We see no major sign of issue. Uh, everything sounds good, I'll start it up in a second. Belts, hoses, etc., all look okay. Uh, nothing overly new, but nothing of issue. Everything looks pretty good. Except for that AC uh, tank, that's the tank right there that is leaking. Coolant looks good, negative 43. I don't see any signs of leaks or anything like that. Valve covers everything else. Uh, oil looks good as well. No frothing or issues. Trans fluid looks good, doesn't smell burnt. No issues like that. We come around to this side. Uh, our 
brake fluid is a bit high in humidity we're at four so that should probably be flushed and oil which is down there looks pretty decent there is some rust falling from the manifold in there which you'll see in the photos uh, which doesn't present a big problem but it is there we're gonna give it a quick startup and then we're hopefully gonna take it for a test drive keys are in my pocket turn it into a long video seems to start up run well a little bit of a leak maybe a little exhaust leak uh, not under here it might be one of the flanges underneath Seems to run nice and smooth though. No smoke or major issues. Nice and quiet. AC is blowing. Uh, like I said, it's cold right now. Radio works. So for the most part, everything's good. A couple little things, but no major issues. We're gonna take it for a test drive now, see if it works. As usual, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.